Welcome to The Finish Line by So Very Easy. My name is Laura, and The Finish Line is a series the first Thursday of every month where we're going to finish our quilt tops. From the batting all the way to the binding, and every month we're going to cover different topics and techniques. Now, I'm going to be using a Bernina Q20 sit-down machine, but this series is going to be good for any sit-down machine, even your domestic machines. Last month, we unboxed the Q20, we set up the table, and we put the machine in place. We need to finish it off by putting in the spool holder and getting it threaded. Once that's done, we get to do some quilting. But I have a tip that's going to take the fear out of trying the machine for the very first time. And this will go for any machine. And I call it air quilting. But let's get the machine set up first. The thread stand has two thread holders already built in, a thread guide, and we need this tiny little screw. The screw comes with two pieces. We have the screw itself and then this little metal piece. That little metal piece will fit in a groove at the top of the machine. So that little odd shape is going to fit in this top groove right at the top of the machine. But we need to take it apart and put it in the spool holder. We can use the screwdriver that comes with it and we'll know which one it is because, well, it's the only one that's gonna fit nice and tight. And take out that top screw. Drop that screw in the hole between the two spool holders. Now we're going to be able to screw this back onto the bottom. We can just hold the screw from the one side and manually put that screw on so it goes on a little bit. That rectangle needs to go horizontal. Now we can pick this up and slide this entire unit with that little piece in the top of the machine. That little rectangular piece is going to fit right in this groove and slide that unit all the way to the front. Now with that screwdriver we can turn that screw to the right just until that's nice and snug. It doesn't have to be too tight. Once that's on, we can put on the thread guides. On the top, you're going to see that little arrow. That little arrow is going to face us as we're sitting down on the machine. So that longer arm is going to go towards the left front. And there's the little groove, so it's going to fit perfectly. Now we get to load the spools. We can quilt with two threads, but for our general quilting, we're going to put the thread on the left-hand side that we're going to pass through the machine the thread I'm using today is from Filtech. It's a glide thread and it's called Marigold. So that's going to fit right on top of that holder. The thread's going to come up and go through the two eyes, the one closest to the center and then out. From here we just thread it like we do a normal machine. I'm going to show you this side, then I'll move the camera and show you the second side. So we have it through the two ends, then it goes through that top one closest to you, down around this silver metal piece and up. So it's only hooking that little silver piece. From there, it's going to go through this front part of the machine. Now we'll move the camera so you can see this side. So it's gone through the front of the machine and then around this little S hook, down and up. We'll be able to thread through this little hole then back down on this side of this plastic. This is a guard that sort of protects that thread from us catching it as we're quilting. From there, we put it through that top little piece. And just like a regular sewing machine, it's going to go around that holder in front of the needle. From here, we get to thread that needle. Now we can thread it from the front, going to the back manually, or we do have a little piece that's going to thread it for us. So let's turn the machine on. The automatic thread guide is this little piece along the side. And it won't matter the position that the needle or the foot's in, it's going to set it automatically for us. So we're gonna put the thread around this little finger that's sticking down, and then pull that thread forward. When we lower, we're going to notice a little hook, and that hook is going through the eye of the needle. So that thread will be just pulled in front of that hook. And when we release it, it's picked that thread up and has brought it to the back for us. 
Now we can pull in the thread. And we have a thread cutter on the side of the machine so we can get rid of the extra thread. The machine is already loaded with the bobbin inside, so we can pull up that thread with the foot pedal or use that hand wheel. The hand wheel needs to be pushed in and then turn towards the back. That needle will go down, keep turning, and it's going to lift up just like a regular sewing machine. And it's going to bring up the bobbin thread. So you can always bring up that thread manually. Close the door and shut the tabletop. And you won't need to open that up. After a while, you'll get the feel of how to load that bobbin in and out. When we start our machine for the first time, we can choose our language, and then it goes right into the screen that we want to use. We have what we call a BSR, and that's a stitch regulator. The number one is generally used for free motion quilting. Number two is great for ruler work. Number three is designed for basting, and number four is for manual. The machine is ready to go. I've sandwiched together two fat quarters and a little piece of scrap batting that I have. And the batting that I'm using is Quilter's Dream 8020. So I've sandwiched this little piece together and now I can do some quilting. The Q20 comes with a foot pedal that you can touch the back of that foot pedal and it's going to bring up that bobbin thread. So one tap at the back will bring that up and we can bring that thread forward. If you're not comfortable using that foot, you can always use the wheel. Both of my threads are now up and I'm going to be able to hold those out of the way. I like to wear gloves as I'm quilting. It just gives me something to grip the fabric. But to start with, you can always use some little grips. And these little grips I've just cut out of rug pads and it holds that for us. So it's a good way to start. From here we can put that pedal down and start quilting. It does have a stitch regulator, so our stitches are going to stay very consistent. The faster we move the fabric, the faster the machine is going to go. The slower we move the fabric, the slower the machine is going to run. If you're comfortable using the thread, we can continue and practice going at different speeds and changing the settings at the top. So we can change the settings to what we feel comfortable with. But if you're not comfortable using thread, we can air quilt, which means we're going to quilt without any thread at all. We're going to remove the bobbin and remove the thread. The machine is built in so that it lets us know if we have no thread or we're running out of thread. So we will need to bypass that. It's very easy. To change the setting, we just touch this little house, which is our home screen, and then touch these little gears. We have this little eye winking at us. Touch the eye, and it tells us if our sensors are on or off. If the eyeball is open, it's on. We want to have it closed. So the sensor on both those threads are turned off. Now we can go back to our home screen. Now we're going to be able to quilt without any thread. And what's fun about that is we're going to be able to quilt as fast as we can and as slow as we can. We can also change the settings. We won't have to worry about any thread getting tangled. We can just stitch. This is a great way to test out new patterns. And at the beginning of the project, we can do this to get into a rhythm. By going as fast as you can and as slow as you can, it gives you a chance to adjust yourself to the machine, and it also gives you a chance to adjust the machine to you. When I push the pedal down all the way, you will see two little red lights, and that's telling you the machine is ready to go. Now I can go as slow as I want, and I can build up my speed and go as fast as I want. So I can just play and have some fun and not worry about anything. There's no thread, so I can quilt for a very long time. And I'm gonna to try to trace some shapes. And 
until I learn the speed that is most comfortable for me. I could change my setting and try that shape again. You can continue setting your machine at different settings until you get your own comfort level. I have a fabric with a pattern on one side and the other side is more of a solid color. On the solid color, I can draw some shapes to practice those shapes. So I've taken a stencil and have traced a shape. Now I can go over and over this shape until I get comfortable with it. There's no thread in the way. I'm not looking at the previous stitching line. I'm just going to be able to stitch over and over again until I get comfortable. Changing that speed until you get comfortable with the pattern. Once you've finished the pattern, you can repeat that over and over again. And I'm not worried about the holes in the fabric. This is giving me a chance to train myself. I'm going to keep this quilt sandwich and use it whenever I begin my quilting. Regardless if I air quilt or I quilt with thread, I like to start on a sample first. I could air quilt for hours and it gives me the experience that I need to tackle the project that I want to do. I've not used up any thread, I've not wasted any fabric, but what it does is it helps develop the mind memory to go with the quilting. I'll put on a little music and air quilt away until that pattern that I want to do is nice and comfortable. Then I can re-thread my machine and get right to the quilting. So practice air quilting regardless if it's on a sit-down machine or on your home machine. You just need to take the settings off to the computerized machines so they don't keep beeping at you and stopping to let you know that you've run out of thread. I do hope you give air quilting a try. It's a lot of fun to do and you can quilt for hours. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're talking about and stitching next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.